Hello friends, today I am going to tell you about standard error of mean and 95% confidence intervals of mean. Sample statistics is the statistical value that we get in a study sample. It can be sample mean or sample proportion. If mean or proportion that we obtain from all the possible samples from a population are plotted as a graph, all the means show a normal distribution. All the sample means or sample proportions are normally distributed around the true population mean or true population proportion. True population mean is the mean obtained from all the possible samples from the population. Standard error of mean or sampling error shows how the sample mean deviates from the true population mean. It can be calculated by standard deviation divided by square root of n, where n is the sample size. 95% of times, true population mean or true value in the population will be within the range of sample mean plus or minus 1.96 times standard error of mean. The range between mean minus 1.96 times standard error of mean and mean plus 1.96 times standard error of mean is known as 95% confidence interval. 95% of times true population mean will be within the range of 95% confidence intervals of mean. Now we can see one example. Mean hemoglobin value of 100 anemic patients is 11.8 gram per deciliter and the standard deviation is 4. Standard error of mean is calculated by the formula standard deviation divided by square root of n so 4 divided by square root of 100, that is 0 0.4. 95% confidence intervals of mean is equal to mean plus or minus 1.96 times standard error of mean. So we got the value 11.8 plus or minus 0 0.784. So 95% confidence intervals of mean varies from 11.016 to 12.584. How we can interpret, you know, if you repeat the research 100 times, 95% of times true population mean will be within the range of 95% confidence intervals of mean. That is between 11.016 and 12.584. In another terms, we can be 95% confident that the true population mean will be between 11.016 and 12.584. If 95% confidence interval is wide, then precision is less. Precision means precision of predicting the true population value based on the sample value is less. If 95% confidence interval is narrow, precision is more. That means precision of predicting the true population value from the sample value is more. Precision is more. So 95% confidence interval is a measure of precision of this study. Thank you.